Mars Day is strictly relevant to the global environment of the Earth. Its antiseptic surface is a cautionary tale of what happens if you don't have an ozone layer. Its great dust storms and the resulting cooling of its surface played a role in the discovery of nuclear winter, the catastrophic climate change on Earth predicted follow nuclear war. So if you didn't have an ounce of adventuresome spirit in you, it would all make sense to support the exploration of Mars. In recent years, there's been a groundswell of interest in organizing the first expedition of humans to go to the planet Mars. We first need more robotic missions, including rovers, balloons, and rich sample missions, and more experience in long-duration spaceflight. But eventually, if all goes well, the interplanetary ship will be constructed in Earth orbit, launched on the long journey to Mars, and then a landing module would set down on the surface. The crew would emerge, making the first human footfall on another planet. The Soviet Union has put Mars high on its space agenda and asked the United States to join it in future robotic and human expeditions. The United States has announced a program leading to a mission of humans to Mars and discuss cooperative measures with the Soviet Union and, and other nations. To my mind, it's something beautifully fitting in the two Cold War adversaries whose nuclear weapons have endangered everyone on Earth, working together in a benign, high-technology, future-oriented endeavor on behalf of everyone on Earth. It would be very expensive, of course, although cheaper if many nations share the cost. The key issue in my mind is whether the unmet needs down here on Earth should take priority. But that's a question even more appropriately addressed to the military budgets. Now, one trillion dollars a year worldwide. You can buy a lot for that. Justifications for the Mars endeavor have been offered in terms of scientific exploration, developing technology, international cooperation, education, the environment. Some see it as the obvious response to the future calling. Some even think we should go to investigate enigmatic landforms, including one that resembles an enormous human face. Personally, I think this, like uh, hundreds of other blocky mesas there, is sculpted by the high-speed winds, but if we're going anyway, there's no harm in taking a look. A remarkably diverse group of American leaders endorsed the Mars goal. Imagine emissaries from Earth, citizens of many nations, wandering down an ancient river valley on Mars, trying to understand how a quite Earth-like world was converted into a permanent ice age and looking for signs of ancient life along the river banks. In the long run, the significance of such a mission is nothing less than the conversion of humanity into a multi-planet species. Cosmos is made possible by grant from Atlantic Richfield, maker of Arco Petroleum Products, the Corporation for Public Broadcasting, 
and the Arthur Vining Davis Foundations.